Hello, beautiful soul. It's been some time since I've made one of these videos, but I want to recommit to sharing the loving guidance and wisdom that the Tarot is. I want to start um, this uh, commitment, recommitment to this practice by just sharing with you all why I love the Tarot in the first place. To me, it is much more than a deck of cards used for divination. To me, the Tarot tells us the story of the human experience, and it tells the story through the language of archetypes and archetypical patterns of perception. Now, an archetype is a universally understood theme. It's something that we all share in our collective unconscious. It's something that we all know without ever having been told. A good example of this is the mother archetype, which is represented by the Empress card in the Tarot. This is the Empress in the Rider-Waite-Smith deck. This is it in the um, Starman Tarot. And this is my newest deck, it's really cool. This is called From uh, Dust to Onyx, and these all represent the mother archetype. Now we all know what a mother is and what a mother should or should not do without ever having been told. It's something we all share. Now, an archetypical pattern of perception is something that's a little bit different. And let me explain that to you by telling you a story. Have you ever heard the story of the Golden Buddha? And the story goes, uh, that a, a group of monks were moving a giant clay statue of the Buddha. And as they were moving it, some cracks formed and they noticed that a golden light was emanating from beneath the cracks. So they chipped away at the clay and found that beneath many, many layers of clay was a solid gold statue. What had happened is that in years past, the monks had covered the uh, statue with um, clay so that an invading army would think it was worthless and leave it be. And the centuries passed and everyone forgot what lay beneath the clay. So what this story tells us is that each of us are that golden Buddha, brilliant and shining, priceless and precious. And the clay covering is adopted or inherited patterns of perception. It's sort of like we look out through these clay covered lenses and that is the um, pattern of perception. And that pattern obscures and distorts the information that's coming into us. You see, if you understand that it's never the person who is harming themselves and others, but rather their adopted or inherited patterns of perception, that are influencing their behavior. I think if you can get to that point and understand that, it really opens up for forgiveness and for the release of shame. I think it's, you know, it's it's lovely to study archetypical patterns of perception because they again uh, are universal in that we're all born into some of these patterns or we adopt them to help manage how hard a human life can be. A really common uh, pattern of uh, perception is that of the addict. Many of us hand over our sovereign authority to the pattern of the addict because we just can't handle, we can't handle life. Very, very common. Um, the most common one we think of is substance abuse. This is the uh, Seven of Cups in the Toth deck. Um, and many of you may say, oh, I don't have an addictive pattern. Well, we all do at some level. Maybe you're not a, gratefully not addicted to a substance. Maybe you're addicted to negative thinking. This is these uh, nine of swords in the talk deck. Maybe you're addicted to the need for approval from others. Maybe you're addicted to drama. <laughs> this is the uh, seven of wands in the joie de vivre deck. So I think you can agree that we all share the, the pattern of addiction at some level level. We, we turn ourselves over to our patterns when we simply feel that we can't handle um, what's going on. We adopt many of these patterns in childhood um, through our childhood traumas. And But what happens as we age is, is those patterns that served us in childhood, perhaps kept us alive, um, don't serve us in adulthood. So it's really helpful uh, the tro is something that can help us identify the um, larger themes that are play at our lives, 
like the, the archetypes or the patterns of perception that we are gazing through at any given moment. The Tarot is not so much of telling you the future. It's actually a mirror of what's going on with you right now at the time that you have your reading. It's telling you what's happening right at this moment. And based on what's happening now, we can determine what your future is likely to be. But if you have a mirror and it's showing you truth and you accept the truth, now you have information and you can decide to change the trajectory of what's happening in your life. And that is why I love the Tarot, because it helps us see ourselves more clearly, helps us see our patterns more clearly, helps us get to a place of self-love and forgiveness. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning a little bit about the Tarot today, and um, I will be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.